This is not a ritual sacrifice, but an act to save life. This gentleman, William Magezi, is one of the members in this community using guinea pigs, what the locals here know as kapanya, for traditional medicine. Blood is drawn out of guinea pigs and fed to patients in need of blood transfusion. You mix blood with the mirinda soda, then you give it to that one or a patient who is suffering from lacking blood, then you swallow. Like the English adage goes, necessity is the mother of innovation. Magezi says this is an inherited practice. Uh, some other doctors from Congo, which doctors came up with the, these type of animals? Then they tried someone suffering from, from sickle cell and uh, lacking blood. This practice has hit the peak again due to a shortage of blood in their district, especially if a patient has been given a referral. We normally use our local chemical hubs, like the, the blood of this animal, so that it can take you until you reach the place where they give you the referral. Blood shortage is the underlying factor for this practice. Bundibujo district gets its blood from Fort Porto Regional Blood Bank. At the Regional Blood Bank, we were told off cuff that there isn't enough blood for the 10 districts in the Renzori subregion it serves. This is why frustrated parents with anemic children now opt for this mythical healing. <laughs> In some communities world over, guinea pigs are domesticated and kept as pets. But here in Humia village, Bundibujo district, they are a fortune due to the price attached to their blood. In the neighborhood, Stephen Mugisha is rearing the rodents due to the increased demand. <laughs> who administers this local treatment, alleges that blood from the guinea pigs is group O. That is why it is used. Because some other doctors, <laughs> they don't know. Others know. Because this one we know, it has a group O. However, there is no proof to this allegation, according to Dr. Amon Buambali, the acting medical superintendent of Bundibujo General Hospital. Because if you are taking that blood, from the guinea pig and it is going through the digestive system, we expect it to be digested by the acid of the stomach and so it is just like any other food. Maybe they can get nutrients from that blood as food but not necessarily that that blood has gone to do what? To help immediately fill up the blood stores in the body to make someone well. Bundibujo is one of the districts in the country with the highest prevalence of sickle cell disease, which is why it requires much more blood for transfusion. Most of the transfusions we make here are because of anemia related to sickle cell, and of course some which are related to mothers delivering and have lost a little blood, but majority of them are sickle cell patients. Over 70% of the people who transfuse are children under five, and most of these uh, sickle cell, of course, others also related to, to malaria and other illnesses. Dr. Buambale told NTV that the hospital is supposed to carry out up to 500 transfusions a year, but is now limited by the shortage of blood. Starting from January to December, we transfused 320 units of blood in the whole year. This quarter that ended from October to December, three months, we always analyze uh, in a period of three months. We referred a total of 67 patients for potro, basically because of blood. People taking animal blood also stand at great risk of contracting zoonotic illnesses. Assuming that that uh, animal has any infections, we can expect them to be transmitted from that animal to human. Early this month, the National Blood Bank in Akasero announced how it is short of blood due to lack of funds to enable it to collect it. Walter Mwesije, NTV, Bundibujo District.